careers. <laughs> it's, it's a hard word for us to say. We call that a four-letter oh, word God. in the music business. Yeah. No, we, 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 it came from, um, talk about our friend first. Who, who came, who, so we had a, a, a buddy came by who's now a buddy. His name's Marty. He's from Nashville. He's a guitar player. Has a cool 80s sort of rock band. Um, and he, he was, yeah. He won the shred off thing at like Sam Ash or something. Yes. Or it, it was Guitar Center Sam Ash. Sam Ash. Sam Ash. And, like, um, and he got to play open for Steve I. Yes. And he met Steve I and got some great career advice from Steve because he was just dumbfounded by his, his scope of work. And it got us thinking, you know, your career in music, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. True. And that's what I sort of took from hearing that. And like just thinking about all of our careers that we've had in this strange game, converting from like players to you know engineers to like guitar shop folks to people that talk on the interwebs to other things like teaching yep. and because if you look yeah it's it is it's weird because like everybody's trying to make i want to be a rock star right i want to be famous i want to do this and i want to and i want to do this project and I, oh i can't finish this one so i'm gonna stop quit it and do this one yep and the big takeaway is like that i learned from like that that and watching my past my life so whenever i've started a task I finish it I always finish it and then and then in within music I do the same thing if the band dissolves and it ends it ends but then I, if I start another one I start it I do it as hard as I can until that project is burned out I think that's interesting because I think there's a ton of the, the mindset when you're especially if you're trying to make a living as a musician there's this thought process that you have to have as many irons in the fire as you possibly can Right, and sometimes what gets lost is that you don't really focus or do well with any of them. But you feel like you know you gotta, especially these days. It's even different now than like when I was in Nashville. You gotta have a YouTube channel and your Instagram, and you gotta have ad revenue, and you gotta have affiliate links, and you gotta have this stuff. And it's like you're forget know. playing. Do you know what I mean? Like you or still gotta play or God writing forbid. songs, right? Or being an um, artist. So it's it's a really interesting concept to think. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this one thing. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna do it well. And, and then see where that takes you. And the thing that I would do within that, that idea, that concept is, is you do like, you do three things maybe at the same time and you focus hard on them and you, but you finish them. One might take a year, one might take six months, one might take three years. They're just kind of staggered, right? And you do, I mean, I'm not saying, please don't hear us say that, hey, if you're a young artist, forget Instagram and, and affiliate links and all this. I mean, you have to do yeah, those to things. Do That's all. part of the, part of the deal. But it's just, it's, we're talking more like the mindset, you know, to be scattered, or, or to be able to focus on, on singular things. And I think, because you might be saying, hey, well, I play in my bedroom. I think it's the same thing when you're learning guitar. Because when I was learning, I was like, I got to be able to do, God, I got a sweet pick and I got to do this thing and I got to do this thing and I got to do this thing. And it's overwhelming. And then you end up playing Wagon Wheel <laughs> over and over. Right? Pick a thing, well, do well, it. And the definition of success has radically changed. And, and yes. not just in reality, but in my own mind, mostly of what I've seen from meeting all these folks across the country and across the world from, from the YouTube channel primarily um, and our guitar shop is there's so many levels of success that we don't even think about as things that you would have aspired to get. Like you might be someone who plays in your bedroom most of the time, but you are playing and you're enjoying it and you're actually creating a, almost as not a career of making money, but a career of happiness. A thing think, you do that, that brings you joy, yeah. And, and you, you regiment it, you schedule it out when you do it, and you love it, and it matters. It, it does matter. And you spread joy to not just yourself and your family, theoretically, but also to like people in your small community, yep. maybe, or people on the internet. If you share a video and one person sees it, and they really get a kick out of it, and love what you did, like you've just inspired them, you've given them joy, and I think that's success in different ways than... I would agree seen. with that, you know? Absolutely. Now we can get back to the economics of things. If you want to make a living, it's, it's, it is. It's a different Forget thing. it. Well, I was looking at your your career in particular, though. Yeah, don't do it. You just, if you're like career. in school, stay in school. My God. If it, I don't want to be a doctor, boo hoo. Like if you have a chance to be a doctor, you have really fun guitars, probably. You'll have great guitars, better than either one of us have. But no, I was looking at Jonathan's career. Like he's, you've been performing for a long time. I'm going to say like sure. you're you're getting close to an age range of like that big that big four zero in the sky. I'm not going to say how close, but it's getting closer. Um, it's here, it's, and here, it's, here we are. it's around. You know, it's, it's just there. Bam. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like, but you've had, you've had years of career behind you now. Yes. Like since, you know, like you, I'd say like late teens to like when you sort of get into it, but like let's say 20 till whatever. Now, like it's, you've passed a decade. You've almost gone to two decades Yes. of, and that's a lifetime of like, you, you came back, well, 
I started here, I want to be X, Y, and Z. Like, where are you now? You've done quite well. You're making a living. Yes. Being a guitar shop, performing. Yes. And you, you know, you're doing lots of engineering, recording work. You're not doing it, but you're playing in studio sessions and whatnot. You have beard companies send you all sorts of things. It's true. Now, which I get sent nothing except for like a razor to shave my face when I try to do that every once in a while. <laughs> People send me razors. And I like your razors. beard. I think your beard's nice. It was fun. I, I had it grown long for that one time about like for a year your, ago. Your, uh, yeah. Well, your last little nose shave November thing was pretty good. I just, I just got so bored with it. Yeah. I, just, I can't handle it. That, that weird phase where it's just itchy. Got to keep up the neck. But no, but you, you've you developed something that is is neat to see. Like you're, if, you, if you actually analyze, kind of like you analyze how much gear money you have, analyze the course of your work, and like the path, you've done a lot of amazing things that most people would just dream about doing. Uh, yes, but I have been taken very, very fortunate. Years. It's taken twenty years. You know, and it's it's not like oh, I played a few shows and got famous, like Michelle Branch or somebody. Why did that name come to my mind? <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing in every way. I don't, that's the first like you know like bam, got famous type of thing. But she did do a song with Santana. She's the one like did a thousand years right. Ding a ding a ding. No, 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 that's uh, that? no, no, no. Um, Vanessa Carlton. Yeah, yeah. That's who I was thinking in my head. I don't even know who Michelle Branch is. I obviously. feel like they've done something together though. She's like a little guitar player. I can't think of her song. I'm sorry. I, I just I, my brain just grabbed like <sighs> random pop singing stars. And every time I try to think of her song, I sing the Avril Lavigne song because we listened to Avril Lavigne for like 20 hours. Because she's amazing and she's my. <laughs> It's my muse, okay? I can't help it. I, 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 had, I had my wife like pose like her the other day. I was like, will you put your foot on like this foot and like put your hand above your head? And like, do you mind wearing this bikini, like the bikini pictures we were looking at? Of Apple. I'm sorry, I know it's weird. I just, I think she's wonderful. It's not what it sounds like. I, I mean, it kind of is. It is. But, <laughs> but she's Avril. That's why it's coming. <laughs> what, what did you just say it on the internet? <laughs> Whoops. I remember it was all pictures. That just popped up in the photo of her in her punk clothes. She's amazing. Yes, 37 yes. years old and she looks unbelievable. And she's still, she, her Bite Me song, check it out. It's the second pitch of the week on Bite Me. I Good old Travis Barker. Hey, God it. bless that dude. That dude kills it. And, um, love me some Travis Barker. He, like, when he's, a, the, he's a good... I mean, think about... I mean, obviously, Blink-182 was a big thing, but he could have fizzled out after that, right? When and is the drummer kinda... the most important guy of the band pop culture-wise? You Very know? rarely. You know, it's Usually like, he takes a scandalous video. Like, or death. Or Tommy Lee. You know? Tommy, or death. Tommy Lee is amazing, right. though. I mean, Tommy, <laughs> he's also like, when they had the flip upside down drum set. That was cool. Tour, that's all. I, your career is good. You do whatever you want. That's true. That's true. But um, I, I hear like, there, is there talks of the crew getting ready to go back out? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it'd be kind of awesome. I've heard some rumors from the Mick Mars camp and everything. Um, Could happen. What were we talking about? What's this whole video about? Again? Avril Lavigne. No, no. What's the video about for real? <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint. I can't get off the Avril Lavigne part. <laughs> um, no, but it makes me think of, um, well, it's, it's the, these young kids that are starting out, too. Yep. Yep. I want to take this one young kid that lives out in Arizona in particular. Named, okay. Named Justin. Here's some pictures of Justin, too. Gorgeous young man, just starting out. He's slaying it out there. Crushing it. In multiple ways, probably, in the music scene. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it, and he, it's, he's starting, he's, like, he's going to get this taste of success a little bit. All right, sure. as a teenager. Um, he plays in like every band in, like, what is it, Western Arizona? I think that's, what, I think that's where it is. And um, we've heard about him from all across the intro spheres. And that's why I chose him. Really. He's also... Um, we know his humans that he's connected to. News travels. It travels the coastal lines. And you never know. You never know. But um, anyway, but like that cat's starting out his music career part yeah, possibly right now. It's neat to see like, hey, don't don't get discouraged, but keep the eye on the prize. Keep doing everything. If your parents can get you to college, go to college if you can. But if the musical opportunity arises while you're there, I'd say bounce and go do that too. I mean, if John Mayer's called up like, hey, I need a rhythm guitar player. Justin, you're it. You probably should do that. You you leave you college do that. and you go do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, it's just neat to see like these young cats. Like, like we're in this weird world of like, oh, it's, like I remember people bemoaning guitars over and rock and roll is dead. Nope. Not, it's, it's not. not. There's 16 million new guitar players in America alone this last year. There's cats like Justin out there like picking it up, slaying the bass, slaying the guitar, going out there like enter the fray, and he looks the part too, which is important. Well, I mean, that helps. Um, Never hurt anybody. Yeah. Looks cool. Like, I'd want to hang out with him if I wasn't an old man. What's fun, too, right now is cool can be kind of anything. Cool now is just do your thing. If it looks absurd, that's fine. If it's classic, that's fine. Just do yourself. It's cool. Yeah, and 
play music unless you like us <laughs> then yeah no play music play music you like you love no but it is it's like don't don't be chasing this like this immediate tiktok hit if it happens god bless you that's awesome cool. but like you know but it is it's like the course of the years you put into it or your your definition of success is if it brings you joy playing yeah. for your family or playing to yourself like my most joyous moments with the guitar are when i'm by myself honestly back in this studio where we're sitting right now everyone's gone home I plug in all these amps and I just play guitar by myself. And it's fun. I'll do that later tonight, maybe. That is fun. Probably not, because I might, don't get to. You might get like your 15 um, minutes in. Maybe. 15 it's minutes sad. is all I need sometimes. That's sometimes. it. I don't need an hour. That'd be nice. That's, yeah. it. That's, that's all I got on that one. I think that's a good video. It's good advice. That we is. don't we don't have too much wisdom. That's a right. <laughs> tiny bit for the year. We saved it till December, till right now. And um, yeah, just just you know, check out the other things we have going on right now. We got a podcast that we launched out. We're doing the PRS Silver Sky giveaway. Not just a normal one, the Lunar Ice. And we got the Next Graded Guitar Builder. And we got something else coming up soon too that's gonna be hilarious and fun. <laughs> but that's top secret right now. We're we're in groundworks of prepping it. It's gonna be it yes. Stay tuned, click it will subscribe. Be amazing. Click subscribe. Don't forget to hit like. Oh yeah, that's important, right? That's important. They don't show the dislikes anymore. They don't. Which makes my ego much happier. I do. I, do, I, I think I like that it's not there. I can't. I was on the fence, but I do. I well, it's like we always had that one person dislike just to be mean. Cause I, I, just I no know, matter what. I think I knew who it was too. Can it's yeah, my yeah. wife? Well, yeah, oh. probably. <sighs> it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Down, but <laughs> just to keep us humble, Back keep us right. Mean. No, but, yeah, but there just, you go. Yeah, it's nice. Just do all that stuff. Um, what do else things. Can you do? Don't forget the bell. Oh yeah, that's important. Click the bell. What does the bell do? It makes sure you get notified every time we put out a video, which we're pretty consistent about. Yeah. Every day. It's so you know. Seven forty-five in the morning. That's right. That's all we got. Very regular. Good luck in your journey. Yeah, we're It's like um, what's that? Metamucil. We're like that. We're just. <laughs> your orange juice and some Metamucil. Casino Guitars. Thank you for tolerating us. Signing out. See you tomorrow. God bless.